Hey everyone, it is Liam, the Def2 Medhood with a collection update video. So how are we all doing? I have got some new records to show you. I picked six because I've got a few more, but I don't want to give out too much at once because you know you don't want a 45 minute video of me just showing off random shit that I've bought recently. So I thought I'd try and spice it up a bit, just show six, and then you know do it that way, it's easier. Also, before I forget, because I keep forgetting to do this, I was interviewed by Jake for his Metal Chat show probably about two weeks ago now. I will put a link above my head for that video if you're interested to talk about consecration, personal life, all that kind of thing. So if you're interested in hearing me talk shite for about maybe an hour, I think it lasts, the link should be there. So, yeah, collection update. So I'll kick off with the first one. This was gifted to me by uh, the chap at Cavernous Records who uh, put out this split that I was going to buy anyway. Um, but he gave it to me as a thank you for supporting his label. Great label. Um, I'll put obviously links below so you can check out Cavernous Records. They're great for uh, European guys and also UK guys like us, or like me, should I say, um, for getting, you know, hard to get death metal from the States and all those little obscure little titles that kind of go under the radar of a lot of the uh, European countries, especially like because the Americans get the tapes, they get all the really good splits. You know, they get the works when it comes to like death metal splits especially. So uh, when I saw this, I jumped at the opportunity to try and get it and I was gifted it, which I'm really grateful for. So I'm going to show it off anyway. Um, and that is the split between Fumes and Fawn. Hopefully the glare won't ruin it. So these guys are essentially death metal and doom metal, um, which is why I wanted it in the first place. Fumes are Canadian, I believe, and then Fawn are from Arizona, I believe in the States. Um, and yeah, it's just filthy, old school sounding death metal. You know, the way I really like it. Really natural sounding. Um, I think Fumes on this split has a, you know, a bigger production um, uh, budget than the other band because they sound bigger and louder than Fawn. But uh, what I really liked about the Fumes one, it was straight to the point. Riff, first riff in, no bullshit, you know, right in your face. And, um, it's just such a it's a great split it's only two tracks per band but that's all you need and i believe fumes are putting out a full length um in february which i want to get hold of as well so i'll keep an eye out for that and i'll show you once i get it but yeah just a simple little split there two tracks from each band but i can't recommend this enough so if you haven't checked out cavernous records they stock all the really good old school death metal stuff black metal um grind you know you name it all the really nasty obscure stuff is you, you can usually find it in there and yeah I love the label you know I've always got a list a mile on for most labels and they're you know no different so yeah go check that out if you haven't already I know in the states I've got the tape version so yeah but the one I'm really excited about was this one this came in the post a couple of days ago I heard about this band through a newsletter through Century Media that chuck out you know pre-orders and stuff like that and I kind of looked at it and thought ah it's another death metal band you know I ain't got time for that at the moment and it was right just before Christmas they sent that that email out and I looked at it and I liked the artwork um, but I didn't check the band out enough and I just kind of thought I've had so much new music last year I don't need any more on my radar or any more spending money you know I spent so much money on music the last eight nine months you know I thought I'll just take a break and I'll look at it in January and then I saw all these reviews coming in all these people talking about this album and I thought I have to check it out now because if everyone's talking about it I don't want to miss out and then it becomes really expensive and hard to get hold of because um, that's happened to me quite a few times with certain bands and I listened to it and yeah it was a straight away buy you know I wish I pre-ordered it now but you know you live and learn and that is the debut full length from Frozen Soul these guys are from uh, Texas and yeah th this is how I like death metal it's simple yet really memorable the riffs are chuggy I mean, there's big chug fest going on on this album. The guitar tone is spot on for me. It's the right tone, you know. It's got that real deep, bassy sound, but it's got the, enough bite so you can hear every single note. The bass is really filthy sounding. The drums sound fat and really natural, you know. It's what you want. Vocals sit, fit this music perfectly. And it's all obviously about being trapped in ice, you know, all that kind of stuff. It's a cold album. Um, and you could easily compare them, and a lot of people already have, and I can see the comparison. It's essentially a, a new version of Bolt Thrower. They have that very much that kind of grindy kind of sound Bolt Thrower have with the double kick 
and the chuggy riffs and then the stompy kind of riffs in between um, and it, it's, I've had I've spun this at least four or five times since I've had it I mean I've got, I've got a female bass player as well so you've got the bolt thrower comparison there um, it's just fucking awesome I can't say anything wrong with it at all I mean the riffs are very very catchy very simple but very very catchy and this album just flows really nicely there's no filler no boring tracks you know you can easily get lost in this album I've had it on in the car while driving around for work because even though there's a lockdown for work for some reason I've sent me all over the fucking county and yeah and I've had this on and a few other albums and you know the journeys haven't been that bad I love the artwork I mean, I saw the initial email when it came out about, you know, pre-ordering it. I, I like the artwork anyway, but I didn't want to, you know, get involved in any more new music. And I kind of wish I did now, because this is awesome. But, you know, I've got a copy now, so I don't really care anymore. Um, only on Black Wax. I know you can get, like, all different colours, like violet and blue and stuff like that. But, yeah, if you haven't checked this band out yet, you must check it out, because it will sell out. And then there'll probably be a repress because it's that popular at the moment. And then it'll kind of fade away into obscurity and it'll cost a fortune and that kind of thing. So while the price is right, get involved. So that's Frozen Soul. Can't recommend that enough to any death metal fans out there. Now, these next two I got on a uh, sale at EMP. They're like a, well, they are German, but they have a UK distributor here as well. And they, they I normally buy clothes from there. The missus buys a lot of clothes from there as well when she's buying stuff. But they've got a decent record shop there as well, and CDs and that kind of thing. And they've had a winter sale recently. I think it's still on. And I picked these two up for less than 25 quid, I think it was. And I'm really happy because, you know, I've, I've been after both these for quite a while. This is a band below. Um, a Swedish epic doom band. Uh, this is 158 out of 300 on silk grey marbled vinyl which was quite nice. Uh, it came out through Metal Blade, so you know you get the, the full treatment Metal Blade. You know, they, they put out really nice records. But this band, if you haven't checked out below before, essentially I could compare them to Candlemass, riff-wise, but if you saw Bruce Dixon join a Doom band, you'd get this, in my opinion. The vocalist sounds very much like those highs that Bruce Dickerson does, the way he sings, the way he pronounces certain words, even though they're Swedish. It's got a very strong vocal comparison to Iron Maiden to me. So it's certainly worth checking out if you're a Maiden fan, because the vocals, I mean, to me, they, they sound like Runs of the Hills, The Trooper, that, that kind of style. He, he sings very much like that, but, you know, other people might listen to this and go, what the fuck are you talking about? But that's what I hear. Um, but the riffs on this are solid, really chunky, very much the Nightfall, um, you know, that early Candlemas sound riff-wise. You can tell who they're inspired by. But the production on this is really, really strong. Um, compared to the first one, this this is the latest one. I think it's came out in 2017. Um, and this is a big step up in sound from that the, the previous album. But it's just a really, really good... I mean, I love my Epic Doom. And I love Doom Death more. But Epic Doom, you know, when I want a bit of singing in my vocal style, um, I go for these kind of bands. And this is a great album. You know, really heavy, very chuggy, very melodic. And what I like about Metal Blade, they always, you know, provide these really cool sleeves. And that is the vinyl. I paid a tenner for this. It was a, you know, for the money. It was a, it was a really good bargain. I couldn't resist it. And yeah, I've, I mean, I've listened to this album for years on MP3 and on Spotify, but to have it now physically is, is a very good, very good time. And then as well as that, on the sale, I've got this one. He's like a pagan... Uh, I don't know how you can, I mean they're black metal to me but they've also got that very strong Irish vibe being from Dublin um, and this was on olive black number 188 out of 300 and again I didn't pay much money for this either but this is my first Prime Order album I've picked up this is the fourth release by them I think it came out in the early 2000s uh, Storm Before Calm it's got different artwork to the original which is why I had a hard time trying to remember what this album was because I, I always go by artwork which I mentioned in earlier videos when I used to sort out my mp3 so when, they, when I saw this I was like I don't recall that album but it is the same one it's just got you know I had a bit of a revamp but it's got a nice thick kind of card and it came with a massive poster that I've got up there of that artwork on there as well and if you never checked out Primordial they are very much black metal but it's not the shrieky in your face kind it's the 
if you're aware of Irish metal and how they, they kind of come across, they've got that kind of traditional Irish kind of sounds in their music, kind of folky, kind of spoken word in some parts. Um, I mean, these guys are very historical sounding with the, the themes of the, the songs and that kind of thing. It's very epic, very grand, very Irish to me. Um, I mean, I've, I've seen these guys live at a festival and I thought they were fantastic. Um, and they're a really good band to listen to. If you want something very different, especially in your black metal, you know, these guys always tick the right boxes for me because they are very different to your, your, your normal black metal band. If you're not a massive black metal fan, you could probably try these guys out and you might enjoy it. And that's what the vinyl looks like. And again, I didn't pay much money for that. It was also in a sale, as well as the third album, I think, as well, which also had different artwork. So yeah, I mean, well chuffed to have these in my collection now, because these are getting regular spins as well. And then this one, Mark G of the C actually recommended this to me. He tipped me off about it on Bandcamp. He said, look at the price of that. It was less than two pints of beer, I think it was, it worked out. And yeah, I jumped on it straight away. I thought, you know, why not? It's a no brainer for me. And that is a UK technical melodic death metal band, Horrified. This is their latest EP from I think 2019 this came out, Sentinel. I mean, that cover kind of made me buy it in the first place. When I was talking about blind buying in my last video, this was essentially a blind buy, but only because of the price is what made me buy it. Because a lot of people have fed back to me on that video, and it's been really cool to talk to all sorts of different people about what their views are on buying albums. And for me, if the price is right, and I know it's in a certain style I'm going to enjoy, I'll just pick it up anyway. And this was one of them. Um, I believe these guys come from Newcastle. They share members from other bands like Live Burial. I believe their bass player is also in Live Burial. And they also now have the drummer who's in the band Cryptic Shift, who put out an album last year through uh, Blood Harvest. So, you know, they're very, very, very talented musicians, I might add. You could easily compare this album to bands like um, Decrepit Birth, the American um, death metal band, but very, very technical. Um, there's elements of death in here in like spiritual healing kind of style and you know the latter albums is very much inspired by those albums as well like especially like sound of perseverance you can hear that a lot in this album as well or this ep um there is six tracks and yeah guitar wise if you're a guitar nerd like me the fucking guitar work on here is phenomenal it is top top notch especially for a band i've never heard of before as well being from the uk I think I should have heard about them, but I've never ever checked them out. Uh, this one came through Testimi uh, Records, which is a German small independent kind of label. But they've had labels out, um, albums out on Shadow Kingdom Records. I think the last one was out on. Uh, I know they've put out one through Memento Mori, the Spanish label. So they've gone from label to label with each release. And what was really cool as well with the uh, the vinyl was very unique. And that was another reason I bought it as well, because you know for the money. It's kind of got this um, like kind of yellow and black swirl, and then on the back it's you know a different colour as well, well same colour but different pattern. So yeah, and again, like I say, if you're into your technical death metal, but not uh, over the top kind of blasty kind of in your face or showing off kind of death metal, it's more technical melody wise. Like you know, if you try and picture, I won't even try and put that way. If you try and picture, like. Albums like Sound of Perseverance, stuff like that is very much in that vein, so go check them out. And then lastly, this is a bit of a grail for me. I found this when I was going through Discogs, and I probably shouldn't have bought it, but I did. Um, and this year they've already announced they're putting it out again in a different reissue um, with different artwork, and I was kind of like, eh, I prefer this one. Um, they're a Russian epic doom band. I've listened to them since I was in my... Well, kind of when I discovered Candlemas, really, and I, I found this band at the same time. They've only ever put out one album, and it's a classic. If you're an Epic Doom fan, you should know this this band anyway. Um, and the cover probably won't help you at all, because it's very hard to read. But the band is called Scold. You're supposed to read it through there. Can you get it? No, I don't think you would. Um, and the album is called Will of the Gods is Great Power. Now... This is as epic as you're going to get with Epic Doom. The vocals are very epic. The guitar melodies are fantastic. 
and it, um, it sounds like it's been recorded in the early 90s and it was and you can really hear that I think it's like 95 they did this maybe before and this is a reissue through um, Ordo MCM Records which I've never heard of and it looks lovely but the problem is is the I'll, I'll print it out so nothing fits in this gatefold at all I've had to keep everything it comes with inside it it doesn't fit properly within the gatefold because it's too small other issue is the two tracks on the B side are the wrong way round so there's a misprint there um, which it was labelled when I bought it like that I already knew about it and I didn't actually care but you know as a collector you, you get the little bugbears like that but other than that I mean it's basically a homage to their vocalist so the reason they put out one album is because he died I believe in a railway accident or something like that I don't know the details but he died in a railway accident and they basically called it a day there and then because he is the one that kind of carries the band I mean as a guitar player I listen to the riffs the melodies and that's what sells it for me but his vocals are very very strong um, and this was a limited edition one that was only limited to 100 pieces um, and there's another one with another colour for 100 pieces so it's like a silver and red burst double vinyl which was nice and it comes with this kind of book about the singer and like the history of the band you can see there all the photos I mean they are they have reunited and they are, they are touring again when they could tour again um, and they're a very unique band they're very much they're very Russian put it that way um, you can certainly hear it in the style but it's just a translation on some of the stuff on here I mean, the thank you notes here will make me laugh the most see if I can find it Scold and all the Yaroslav music people would have fucked Mr. Neresov for constantly setting up barriers in organising of shows and festivals for mooching and stealing from musicians for robbing musicians of the stimulus to grow musically to progress and for standing in the way of those who have ambition to achieve success I don't know who the fuck that is I don't know who they hate but they feel very passionate about it and would have fucked him apparently as well <laughs> but obviously it must be the translation from Russian but there's a little write up about the history of the singer Agil I believe his name is he died in 97 there's a write up there about what bands he was in at the start and it's also there in Russian as well um, yeah I mean I, I've loved this band for absolutely years and years and years but I only ever had it on mp3 um, it's a very epic album and it's one that I can listen to and listen to over and over again, never get bored and um, when I saw this on Discogs in a London you know, record store that was selling it and it comes with like little sleeves for each record but again they don't even fit in the gatefold so I've kept them separately but they've got really cool artwork on them um, there's more artwork there so you know it was worth buying just for being, you know, having it in my collection you go, they go by the ancient doom metal tag as well you know so yeah a really really cool band if you haven't checked out this album it's a must for anyone that's into doom clean vocals epic melodies you know you can't go wrong so yeah it's gold so yeah thank you for watching this very short update I didn't want to do a really long one because there's no point I've got loads to show and then the next one you know even more goodies will be arriving and then in two weeks it's my birthday and I've made sure my wife knows and the kids know that my Amazon wish list is a big tick between certain albums that I want and a certain box set that I've asked for as well. And hopefully I'll get them. Oh, I don't know yet. So in the meantime, please subscribe if you've never checked out my channel before. And welcome to all my new subscribers recently. It seems to be going up again, which is really cool. And I'm very grateful and very thankful. Um, yeah. So in the meantime, take care and I'll speak to you guys soon. Cheers.